looking for the all-time TV favourites. On the level, first arm, BBC One, Tomorrow's World. Good evening, welcome to the programme. Tonight, the macabre tale of the thoroughly modern mummy. Imagine you've left your body to science, and this is what happens. Researchers in the USA are dabbling in mummification 20th century style as they try to unlock the mystery of the ancient Egyptians' powers of preservation. I find out the hard way how Aboriginal bush medicine could fight the hospital superbugs. And meet Robert Jordan, the teenage inventor who's straightening out Britain's building sites. And that's where we kick off. Early in the 21st century, London's skyline could be transformed by 80-storey skyscrapers. So what amazing tools will the builders of our tomorrow be relying on? Well, this actually, the humble plumb line. It's how they check the walls are straight. But Robert Jordan, who's just 16, thinks he's come up with a better idea, and he's already won a national competition for his invention. Craig Doyle finds out more. This is the story of how an ancient tool of the building trade used for thousands of years could soon be consigned to the history books. It all began one fine day on a building site in London. Well, it started when I took uh, Robert, my stepson, with me to work. And I was putting up some petition walls with another fella. And it was quite awkward and fiddly. Can I use that tiny mill? They were using uh, the traditional plumb bob, which I found not very accurate at all. And it took two people to, to use it. Robert was sure there must be a better way, but his stepdad wasn't convinced. Had a bit of trouble there, Frank. I'm sure I'm coming up with something much better than that. Oh, yeah, sure. And in the meantime, my arm's dropping off. Like all great young prodigies, Robert carried on, undaunted by the sceptics of the construction world. While his classmates had their minds on the physics lesson, Robert was hatching his plans for a high-tech plumb line. His first idea was a device which could shoot a dart vertically up at the ceiling. Good principle, but not very practical. So Robert got back to work on something safer and more accurate than the dart. Finally came the flash of inspiration. Deciding on the laser was a big breakthrough for Robert. The next step, getting it to go straight up. Maybe we could use this kind of... Robert decided the best idea was a pendulum with a laser in the top. Like the old plumb bob, gravity would always pull the weight straight down, so the laser beam would point vertically upwards. Robert was convinced it would work, and from these humble beginnings, the laser plumb bob was created. The beam makes a dot on the ceiling directly above a mark on the floor. So a row of dots matching your floor plan lets you put your wall up in no time at all. I think his device has got a lot of potential. People that are in the building trade will be able to see how much potential it's got. There isn't really something similar on the market. There are machines that do the same job, much more expensive machines but not so simply and not so easily used by non-trained people. So then, Craig, do you reckon it's time for the Tomorrow's World test? That's my line. Cheeky, come on. Right, now it is test time. What we want to do is build a wall. Now, we have our markings on the ground here, but we need the markings on the ceiling. So to my left, I have Robert and his laser, and to my right, I have Frank and his old plumb line. Right, are you ready? First to get three marks wins, and uh, off you go. <laughs> Not 
to win, I'm afraid. <laughs> the laser wins. Three marks on the ceiling to one. Quick. But have the old guard been convinced? It's a great device. It saves so much time. Only one person has to use it. And I wish I had one here all the time. Now, how about the commercial value of your invention? Well, I've estimated it at around £300, which is um, £700 cheaper than the nearest counterpart, which is pretty good. Um, it would save more than half the time anyway, so you'd probably get the money back in a day if a company bought it. All I need now is just the money for myself, just to get it started. Hopefully, I'm going to make it more accurate with better machines, and then from there, with the aid of a 45-degree angled mirror, it would be able to point a horizontal beam so the application could go much further. With the vertical one, I've been told that it could be used for rocket launch pads and also detecting movement in bridges. Who knows where to go from here? Robert Jordan there, a lad with a bright future. Earlier this year, I reported on the superbug that's stalking our hospitals. Called MRSA, it can spread from patient to patient on the hands of doctors and nurses, and it kills. Even worse, the bacterium is becoming more and more resistant to drugs. Well, now there's new hope, and it's not the result of modern medical innovation. It comes from the Australian outback, where the Aboriginal people use ancient natural medicines, and I warn you, some of them are rather unusual.